Hi, welcome to Invictus Motors. We've got this Audi R8, and this is special for two main reasons. And one of them being, which is actually the main reason for why it is such a special Audi R8, is that this is one of 100 produced in 2011 to celebrate Audi's 10th Le Mans win. So as a, as a celebration thing, they said, well, we'll just take the Audi R8 uh, as is, and turn it into even more special than what it, than what it is. And the second being is, is that this has the six speed manual gated transmission. What is it that makes the Audi R8 um, sort of the special limited edition Quattro version special? What are the key characteristics of it? Firstly, it's finished in the phantom black metallic paint color. And secondly, it's all the extra items that you could possibly imagine in an Audi R8, they've kind of put that in just it being a very standard thing that they've done with all of the one of 100 versions that they've done you know uh, firstly the fact that it this has the 19 inch um, specially made Audi alloys um, that they've put in and the fact that the calipers were finished uh, in red from factory and then additionally uh, before I sort of get into the interior the coupe version having all the view that you normally have in terms of the back of the engine and the fact that obviously as, as you're aware the Audi R8 was one of the first cars I think the first car going back as far as the very early first generation when it appeared in the first Iron Man film it having sort of LED headlights and I love the fact that it's got the um, tail sports exhaust system the quad tail sports exhaust system and if I can actually just invite you on to the inside here it continues to be quite a remarkable car in the sense it's got the two-tone leather interior which is sort of black and red with the extended la Napa leather interior with the uh, flat bottom steering wheel this also has the Magna Ride uh, suspension so you can press that which is in perfect condition there's sort of no weep or there's no issues with the Napa leather uh, with the Magna Ride suspension system and then additionally as I mentioned the six-speed manual gated transmission and I'll be taking it out on a drive in a minute and just kind of covering that in relation to the let's just say the R-Tronic automatic and the S-Tronic gearboxes as well and it's got the heated um, seats both for the driver and the passenger and you've got your auto headlights and the car is obviously something like this the fact it is quite a special uh, special celebration car only one of 100 I think one has really has to see one of these in person to actually appreciate what an incredibly special car it is and uh, there's no better way to kind of illustrate that than to actually take it out for a drive with you and just to kind of cover every nook and cranny so let's get in the driver's seat and take it out for a spin and this customer that actually had it for the past 10 years there's a reason for why he actually kept it for 10 years because of the whole specialness of this I mean there's no way one will be able to find another one of these like this and having the speciality that we have in Porsches and our rate really has to kind of stand out to us for us to actually have it as part of our stock and it has to almost like s scream at us to bring it on onto our stock and something also for us to experience and just appreciate them for not just being another sports car but for it to actually offer something special than the everyday car it might be. It's got the V8 naturally aspirated engine. Sounds incredible. So the 4.2 litre V8 produces 424 bhp. 430 newton meters of torque and not to 62 miles per hour possible in 4.6 seconds and the top speed being a blistering 187 miles per hour 
surely all of this is more than enough considering it is a proper six speed manually operating Audi R8. A beautiful, beautiful product to experience. And in a minute, I can sort of open it up. With a 5,000 RPM. Audi's flagship car, it has got to be right, it's got to drive engagingly. It has to hold and drift to the road like you would expect it from any accident. Exhilarating experience. And I had to put all my focus and my time and attention into just being focused, eyes on the road, and enjoying it and appreciating it really for what it is. So, the next car I'm actually going to be driving after this, reviewing it for the channel is a Porsche 981 GT4 and having driven that GT4 a fair bit I can say this gives me almost GT4 like vibes exhilarating exhilarating experience you know, something out of a dream and the last time I actually experienced driving an R8 in manual 
was one that was traded in by a football player and it was the same re same year but it was a convertible RX Spider and for whatever reason it just didn't do it for me it's very heavy in terms of a car and just ultimately it didn't give me the driver focus uh, the driver focusedness of what I would want in a in an Audi R8 sorry in terms of what I would want in this Audi R8 and what I'm being offered in this Audi R8 because that being the Spider I don't know if it was to do with the Spider the car was overall very heavy and just didn't get the nimbleness that I get in that I get in this and also I find that the clutch is just more operatable maybe it was the clutch on the RX Spider it was really heavy whereas on this is just perfect so thank you very much guys for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe and uh, if it's a car that you're actually looking to buy I'll be showing the paperwork in the next part of this video otherwise if you were just here for the test drive thank you see you next time bye bye a bit like the GT4 paperwork the R8 has a complete you know service history a full Audi service history and practically everything you would want um, a prestige car to have it's got it all so initially I'll just go through the uh, number of owners so it's got two former keepers and the current keeper Mr. Matthew James Rousen from Reading has owned this since May 2014 so for about 10 years now and as I said in the video if this was my car I'd be keeping it for 10 years now in terms of the service history it's got the spec check it's HPR clear the service history is all here in front of me it's been serviced exactly when it needed a service so at 10,000 miles it's had its service at 21,000 miles so Audi Reading Audi Reading then Audi basing stock at 25,000, 34,000, 44,000. And then the last service done at 53,262 miles on the 22nd of September, 2023. Remember the 22nd of September, 2023, because this is quite important because three days prior to this, on 19th September, 2023, it had an MOT at Quick Fit. And at the time, Unfortunately, um, it had just returned from a trip in Europe. Um, so quick fit, rather than put the um, uh, odometer back to miles and enter the, 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 the miles in it, it was set to kilometers. So they had entered the mileage into the MOT system in kilometers rather than miles. So that, which was at 83,926. Um, miles that they entered but they should have entered this in kilometers or, or changed the dash into kilometers and entered the correct mileage which would have been just slightly above 53,262 miles so this is a, a little error it's a little mistake that we've written to uh, DVLA uh, QuickFit has kindly provided us an invoice uh, we've got the MOT certificate and that should get amended so as it stands currently it's just done over 54,000 miles because I've done uh, a couple of hundred miles in it just driving it because I wanted to experience a product like this um, but yeah this is this is all the paperwork that you would need on an Audi fully up-to-date full-on uh, um, sort of Audi service record HBR clear and um, everything you would want in an Audi RA something as special as this it's got it all so once again, thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.